In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the passenger side front axle on this Volkswagen Jetta. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the wheel, use a 17 millimeter socket, take all the lug bolts out. I'm going to get to the last one. I'm just going to hold the wheel on so it doesn't fall. And then pull the wheel off. We're going to take the axle nut off using a 30 millimeter 12 point socket. I'm just going to use a punch and just give this a tap. You just want this to loosen up. You don't want to hammer the end of this or you're going to mushroom the end of it. That's good. It moved. We're going to take the bottom sway bar link bolt out, use a 16 millimeter socket. Take that out. We're going to take the top bolt out, use a 16 millimeter socket. Use a 16 millimeter wrench on the back side where the nut is. Take that out. And it slides right out. We're going to take these three lower ball joint bolts out. I'm going to use a 13 millimeter socket. And you have this bracket that comes off with it. Now just pull the ball joint out. Lower this down and you can pry the rest of the axle out. If you need to, you can use a pry bar or you can punch it out from the front. I'm just going to tap it out a little more from the front. And then we can slide it out just like that, out of the way. Now I'm going to take this shield down so that it can access the bolts better. There's two bolts holding this on. Use a 16 millimeter socket. Pull that shield off. Now we're going to take the bolts out of the inboard side of the axle. We're going to use a triple square M8 socket. And take those bolts out.
I'm going to remove all six bolts on the last one now. And just slide the axle out. This is a gasket that's going to go on here. It's easiest if you take the gasket and line it up where the axle is going to go. And just use the grease to hold it. That's good right there. Make sure the bolt holes are going to line up. That looks good. Then you want to take the new axle. There is grease. You want to pack it in here. Push this up a little bit. You're going to push it down, work it around. Try to pack it in the best you can. And make sure you use the whole tube. I'm just gonna take a plastic bag, go over the top of this. It's just gonna contain the grease, and I can push it in a little bit easier. Just work it in. And just peel that off. It's okay if it's a little messy. Good. Slide the axle up. You're, you're going to want to take those brackets and slide the new bolts through the brackets. Get those started in the axle. You can get them all started before they go up. started and slide the axle in place and get the bolt started just to make it easier just going to slide this above the control arm. You can slide that through the wheel burn if you want. I'll just leave that there for now. And now get the bolts all started all around. These new bolts I can use a hex key for. You want to alternate side to side, snugging them down so it tightens it down evenly. I'm just making sure they're all snug before we torque them.
Now you want to torque those bolts to 29 foot-pounds. Make sure you alternate, so don't just go to the next one. You want to go to the complete opposite one. And torque that, just so it tightens it down evenly. You can hold the other wheel. Just make sure the vehicle is in gear. It's in uh, first gear right now. Otherwise, it's just going to spin. You can go around and double check all your bolts after. Make sure you got them all. Go around, double check. One more. All right, that's it. Those are all of them. Now I take this shield, line that up, get the bolts started. Line this ball joint up and get the axle in properly. Work that in place. 
Now I take this plate, line that up, get the bolts started. It is recommended that you replace these bolts when you're doing this job. Then you want to torque these bolts to 15 foot-pounds. And then an additional 90 degrees. Now I'll take the sway bar link. Put the bolt through there. Get the nut started. And before we tighten that down, we'll take the other bolt, get this lined up. And tighten this one as well. I'm going to torque this bolt to 33 foot-pounds and we'll torque the top to 22 foot-pounds. Now put the nut on. I have a washer as well. And just snug this down first. I'm going to take a pry bar and just go in between some of the lug studs and we're going to prevent the hub from spinning. We need to start by torquing this to 147 foot-pounds. Now we need to loosen it. I'm going to turn this the other way. the nut by half a turn right there then we want to spin the rotor and hub 180 degrees just move this to the other side Now torque the nut to 44 foot-pounds. And then an additional 60 degrees. If you don't have an angle torque meter, just do the best you can. Install the wheel. Line it up. Get the bolts started.
Now we're going to torque the lug bolts to 89 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. And go around again, double check. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.